How are you today, Alistair? I'm just fine. You're just fine? Yep, I'm fine. Good, good, good. Today, I wanted to tell you about a story that I'm going to be reading that Jesus once told. Is it a good story? Well, let me tell you the story. The story is about a man who gave some of his people bags of gold. Bags of gold? That's right, bags of gold. But if I had a bag of gold, do you know what I would do? What would you do if you had a bag of gold? I would, I would buy a big pizza and eat the whole thing. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then I would get myself, um, I would get myself a new video game player. Okay. And I would get a big TV and I would put it up on the wall in my bedroom so that I could play video games all the time. You know what? What? That's not what the man wanted the people to do with their bags of gold. He didn't? No. He didn't want them to spend it on themselves. He wanted them to invest it. Invest it? What does that mean? Invest means to take it and to try to do something bigger with it. Not for yourself, but for something bigger. What do you mean? Well, for example, you can take an apple seed and you can plant it in the ground. And what does it become? An apple tree? That's right, an apple tree. So you invest something when you set it aside so it can become something greater. Oh, you know what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to take a bag of gold and plant it on the ground so then I would have a gold tree. No, no, that's not the point. The point is that God wants us to take the things that he gives us that are like bags of gold and he wants us to use them to do better things, good things. I don't get it. Well, maybe this will help. Do you see what I have here? You guys see what I have here? I've got envelopes. What are in the envelopes? Money. Money? Money in the envelopes? Yep, and guess what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to give everybody an envelope. You are? That's right. Are there dollars in there? That's right. There are dollars in this envelope. Really? You know what I'm going to do with my dollars? What? I'm going to go to the dollar store. You are? Yeah, and I'm going to buy candy bars. No, but that's not what this money is for. It isn't? No. It says right on the envelope, it says, use this to help someone. Yeah, I'm going to help myself to a candy bar. No, 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 no. <laughs> to help somebody else. What? That's right. I'm going to give each of you an envelope with some money in it. And what I want you to do is I want you to take the money and use it to help somebody. But who? You'll know. You'll see. Maybe it'll be somebody who's sick and needs some help. Or somebody who's hungry and maybe needs some food. Or, or, or somebody who's, um, who, who's in trouble and you can help them. You mean you want me to invest the money? That's right. To take this little bit of money and do something bigger with it by helping other people. Okay? Okay. Can I have my money? All right. Here you go. Here's yours, Hollister. Would you like an envelope? Would you like one, Hannah? There you go, there's one for you. And would you like one, Hannah? Yeah. <laughs> sure. And would you like one? Sure, you'd like one. How about you, you want one too? Sure, okay. Okay. <laughs> so now, the idea is to use your envelope and the money that's in there to help somebody else. You know what? What? I think I could put it in the offering plate. Well, you can do that, but you don't have to. Just find some way to help somebody else. So invest the money, okay? Okay. Let's say a prayer, all right? Everybody, fold your hands. Dear Jesus, thank you for all that you give us. Amen. Thank you for coming up front.